so my the the newest uh, work I have is um, the, my right leg sleeve, um, which I've been waiting for to get for several years. I would, you know, I've always wanted the full body suit, but I always debated on keeping this leg uh, sort of naked, if you will, because it was the last part of my body that you can actually see, you know, the muscularity and the striations, um, which is why I keep my abs uh, not tattooed. When you have a full sleeve like this, it does, you know, you really can't see the muscularity and the striations. Uh, it, it completely covers it up. So, you know, it's basically sort of giving up, um, you know, some of what you've worked for in the gym and with, with, with diet, but, you know, it, it's sort of at this point in my life, you know, I've already jumped out of the airplane, so, um, you know, I had to eventually cover it up, so, so, so this is the, it's all, it's all koi, koi fish um, with a variety of uh, different flowers, there's uh, lotus flowers and, and uh, other flowers, but the reason I have so many tattoos is, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time when I was young in, in in the dojo, doing martial arts, and done judo, ketsugo, uh, kempo, um, some jujitsu, bit of mixed martial arts. But my father was a martial arts instructor. Uh, no, I mean not full time. Do you know, like he didn't own his own dojo, but he had, you know, he taught uh, karate. It was ketsugo, um, which is a, a mixed form. So I spent a lot of time surrounded by Asian art and those themes you know, dragons and, and Kung Fu. Uh, the dragon is the ultimate animal. It sort of represents all the animals. It has all the characteristics, um, you know, the strength of a, the power of a tiger, um, you know, the, the wrapping ability of a snake. It's, it has all those components. So it's really the ultimate uh, animal, which is why I have so many uh, dragons. Um, and, you know, I've seen some of these, uh, when I was a kid, I've seen some of these experts, uh, these masters come over from Japan who had the full body suits. And when I was a kid, I just thought, you know, I'd see them changing in, in the dressing room and just think, oh my God, that's absolutely, amazing. when I get older, that's definitely what I want. Um, so, like I said, as soon as I was legal age, 18, I got my first tattoo. Uh, and then. It, it snowballed from there, but I knew eventually that I would get a full uh, Japanese bodysuit. And basically what I, what I have is sort of representative of balance because the left side of my body is all wind and fire and the right side is all water uh, theme. And you know, that's sort of one of my themes even in, in fitness and in health is that it's really all about balance. Um, you know, obviously dieting is important and training is important, but if you're not enjoying your life, if you don't have a drink of alcohol here or there, you don't have a good meal, really what's the point of trying to live this healthy lifestyle if it's so boring and such a grind? You know, you have to really enjoy yourself and you really have to find balance. You know, even in career, you know, what, you know, you gotta be a driven individual just like you gotta be driven in the gym. But you also have to know when to relax, when to have fun, when to time, spend time with your family and your friends and, and, and your other loved ones. So balance is really a big theme. Uh, and another sort of Zen proverb, uh, if you will, is that the, uh, the quieter you become, the more you hear. Uh, and was a huge, had a huge impact on me when I was going to school because uh, you know, I wanted to uh, absorb as much information as I could. And even when I got to uh, the magazines, when I left academia and sort of took on this new area, I went from, you know, being a research scientist to an editor. Um, I really wanted to, you know, listen and get as much uh, feedback and um, help from other editors. Uh, who wanted to take the time and really teach me how to be a good science editor. So, um, you know, that sort of fly, it's one of the things I used to have on my office wall is the, you know, that, that Zen proverb, the, the quieter you become, because it really makes a big difference in, in thoughtfulness to, you know, before you're out there, um, you know, shouting from your podium, 
you have to listen, you have to learn, you have to uh, absorb it all. Not that you stop learning, uh, but you continue learning as you grow. Uh, and the more, you know, the saying is, the more we, the more we know, the more we realize we don't know, um, is a big impact on me as well. Generation Iron is, uh, you know, I'm proud, very proud to, uh, to have a part in that movie. I think it's a groundbreaking movie uh, for the way it introduced the world of bodybuilding to, um, you know, normal people who might otherwise really understand what bodybuilding is about.